Should you pay your kids college? Well, that's an interesting perspective and the internet says a whole bunch of things. I personally take my kids down a very different path. So let's begin. So three things we're going to talk about. Number one, I'm not a huge fan of student loans or debt, but there is a way to interestingly use them. In chapter eight of our Make Your Kids Millionaires book, we give you a whole plan to prepare, get them ready for scholarships, different tuitions, and how can you do that. And then number three, I'm going to share with you a very creative way that I made up with my son and how we are doing it as partners. So get a pen and paper. I got a lot to share with you. So number one, student loan debt, it's un. Precedented. I actually was one of those students who went to a lot of college. I went to a private university and then went on to get a master's degree, student loans, six figures at the end of student loan debt. Not a fun experience being in your young 20s walking out with $100,000 of debt. And I swear to God, I would never, ever put that energy and weight on my children's shoulders. And I would come up with the rest of you parents' answers for that. So student loan debt, it's interesting. It's an extra side thing if you want it. Now, what's interesting about loans, our loans are 0%, right? Now think about this. Loans are 0% during the time that they're in college. So you have to really read the fine print. But when Logan started college, he actually went to a private university and they had some really good loans. 0% for not only his college experience, but for another year, almost two years after. So you got to think in my mind, hmm, free money. I'm going to use the free money with the intent that at that exact time, I'm going to pay the whole thing off. So I'll have paid no interest, but why not use the cash, right? And why not use the cash for growth? So there's a whole different mentality about using other people's money and the cost of it. So that is the only way that we have used a student loan. Now in chapter eight of our millionaire maker book, which is a big book, you got to go get it. Make your kids millionaires.com. Got to get it. Open up chapter eight. Kyle and I have very different experiences. And a lot of you as parents, this is really a parent philosophy, whether, you know, at 18, are they done or at 18, are you going to develop them into a nice young adult and, uh, help them through college? The, uh, overwhelming response on the current internet of 2022 would say that the parents should pay for college. Now, what's interesting is that also because of some of the administrative changes, your child can stay on your healthcare until they're 26 years old. So a lot of this is kind of stretched out from like the era that I grew up in, which was at 18, you're on your own. Like good luck, pat on the back. Here's some credit cards. Don't screw it up and happy day. That's how most people did it and still do it. So some ways to start planning, right? There are 529 plans. There's Coverdale plans. There's all sorts of different plans. The challenge with a lot of the the plans that are, that are given through the financial institutes is they're very college centric. So let's just say you get to the end of it and you put a lot of money into those kinds of accounts and your kid wants to go be an entrepreneur. It makes it very difficult to go back and get that money. That money is very designated. It's designated to dorms. It's designated to tuition, to books. It's very, very qualified. So before you overload 529 Cloverdale and a lot of those kinds of college accounts, make sure you're aware of the restrictions given the kind of kid you're going to raise. Right. So I didn't know what kind of kid I was going to raise. I thought mine was going to go off and be a skier. His junior, he's like, nope, done skiing. I want to go be a football player. So he did go get a huge D1 scholarship and a huge academic scholarship, but that didn't pay for everything. Right. So then we did that 0% loan. And we did have a 529, but we kind of burned that out, you know, pretty soon, really early on. Here's a big thing that I did that no one, I don't know anyone who's done it. I came up with it and I said, and I checked with a lot of my CPAs and lawyers and I said, why hasn't this been done? It's so obvious is make them your business partner. So at 18 years old, Logan signed into one of my real estate companies. He was going to do that anyway, because now he's a legal adult and I want him to learn to live corporate life by deductions, right? Companies make money and then you have 81,000 pages of tax code versus go be employed and be taxed at 40, 50%. You choose your path. I remembered that when I was at Chevron, they put me through some training at a hundred percent tuition reimbursement to the company. So I'm thinking, well, I have a company. Why can't I have a college education reimbursement plan or a training education reimbursement plan where it's a hundred percent deductible to the company? And we're partners. And as long as the company's agreeing to the kind of training, which is getting finance and accounting, which is very supplemental to real estate, why couldn't that company pay for any extra fees or expenses as a deduction to the company 
including our travel back and forth. So I'm actually on my way to go see my son in Georgia. When he comes back and sees me from Georgia or sees his sister, we all work for the company. We all have resolutions that the education is mandatory, has to be paid for, it's 100% deductible, including travel back and forth for all partners. All legitimate, go look it up in the IRS code and I'm gonna put it out there because I've been taken off TikTok and other places for sharing this exact strategy saying, you're giving tax advice. No, this is actually, go look it up and it works. I have so many families doing this right now. So it is my number one. Now let's go a little further. Why don't you take that real estate company and go to the very school, town that he's gonna go to school in and go buy a fourplex, go buy a duplex. Now, why doesn't the kid live in one, have some roommates, rent out the other. Now you actually have some cash flow to supplement any extra cash flow. I have another student that I'm actually working with who's a super handyman, right? And not only does he have apartments, he actually is the handyman around town. So now he goes and he supply, supplements his income as a property manager with others. So I want there to be some entrepreneurial hustle inside of their experience. So my son is a student athlete, busy, 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 right? Super busy and still does tutoring on the side, does other activities on the side, has other jobs on the side. I want that entrepreneurial energy. And I'm not talking jobs like they go work for somebody else. I'm talking getting gigs, right? So he'll call me and he'll say, mom, I want to make a couple thousand bucks. What, what do you have for me? And I have all sorts of things I could have him do. And if you don't have things that you need your kid to do, give them to me. I could do tons of internships. So I want them leaving very entrepreneurial. I want them knowing that I'm not going to walk out of here with any debt. I'm gonna be debt free the day I walk out and have a plan for it. So before I share a few more strategies, I want you to subscribe to my channel, click the notification button, and please make some comments. If there's some topics you want me to talk about, put them in the comments. I have a team out here all the time and they will be feeding them to me. We'll be right back out here, making sure we are with you live. So when you go to one of our links below, make sure you get signed up. So when we come live, you're notified so we can be here live answering any of your questions and share this channel. I want you financially literate, especially if you have kids that are ready to go to college. They need to hear this piece right now. How do you get them ready? Well, credit cards. They're gonna to have to have good credit. And they're gonna need credit cards. Do not wait till they're 18 years old. I would like you to take one of your credit cards, put a limit on it, maybe two, $300. And at 13 years old, they get to start using a credit card. They use it right, your credit gets to be improved. <laughs> and every time they get a statement, they have to reconcile, they learn to keep receipts, they learn if it's a company deduction, they learn if it's actually just something they needed to buy. So they start learning five years before they are 18 and then they apply. Now, one of the things with the applications, whether it's a school application, it's a credit card application, is you want to apply to the income that you're going to generate in the next year. A lot of people apply from a place of desperation. They'll put, well, I'm really broke and I have less credit card debt, screwed up my credit. No one's gonna give credit to that. So I want you to say, right? And I have student athletes doing this, 18, 19, 20 years old. I have a personal training business and I'm on track to make $60,000 and they get awarded $12,000 of credit on a credit card. It's the application and the boxes you choose that have got to be done properly really important that you set your kids up right. And as far as a debit card, yeah, it's kind of like a little emergency account, but why have your kid use a debit card to take money straight in and out of their bank account? Use a credit card, use somebody else's money for 30 days and start rotating. Over time, they're gonna get better credit. And really watch, between 18 and 22, I guarantee you over 500 solicitations will come to your kid's house. That's exactly how many's come to my house for my son, Logan. Over 500 times he has been asked to get a credit card between the ages of 18 and 22. So very strategically, we select very strategically based on his credit we choose. He has a lot of lines of credit. He has huge corporate credit and he's got great personal credit. You can do this. You can totally have your kid go to school. You can collaborate in paying for it. There's things absolutely that I've paid for. Our company has paid for as a deduction. Have I paid out straight as a cost? No, right? So he went through school as my partner through our real estate company. We did use some uh, of the strategies that I uh, spoke about. Here's a few more just to kind of add to your list. Talk about your bigger financial legacy plan. You know, some legacy plans require kids to have a college degree or a master's degree. Start college prep and student loan, like all that education, at least in eighth and ninth grade. Advanced credit cards, yes, do it immediately. Like I said, 13 years old and forecasting. 
I say right before they start heading out, you know, through spending on your credit card, start helping them learn what they will pay for and not pay for. And one thing I do with a lot of my college kids is I'll say get a Discover card to maybe pay for gas, get an American Express card to pay for food, get another card to pay for like personal items and another card to just do your fun that you can't write off. And then inside of that, we'll continue to work on a more complex plan. Love teaching you, love teaching your kids. If you're enjoying this, go take my financial personality quiz. I don't know who you are. I don't care how old you are. And uh, take the quiz, fill it out thoroughly. We're going to follow it up with an application. The application will come out to you. You're going to fill it out. We're going to hand it to my senior strategist. You're going to have a conversation with one of my team members. From there, they're going to tell you where you need to be with us. And it might be in our marketplace, right? Start in our marketplace. Come to learn to make some money. And you might have to go out and get my Make Your Kids Millionaires book, which is in the link below. Just begin. Stay out here five days a week with me. Financial literacy has got to become one of the most important things you do for you and your family. I'll see you tomorrow.